Hi, I'm Taylor Molly, and in this video, I'm going to give you my latest tips for how to carve out books. I carve out a lot of books. I don't know why it gives me quite so much joy, um, but I have made a video in the past and I almost am ready to disavow everything that I've said. The number one tips are using Mod Podge or rubber cement on the outside of the book. A very light coating on the outside first will keep the pages together as you're working on them. Also, the number one tip is get a pair of heavy duty clippers and it becomes very useful for clipping the corners as you'll see. What's that black dot? That's just a, a metal plate and I've got this tiny little magnet and that attaches well. It's very good when you give this to a friend. With, your, if, with a stronger magnet, you can keep a lot of, a lot of uh, money in place, which is more fun. This is the part of the video that I filmed first because of course, I don't know how the project is gonna turn out yet. This is the book new, uncut. But by now, hopefully you will have just seen what it looks like at the end. First thing you're going to want to do is take the cover off, of course, and work on the book. Last time I discovered Mod Podge and the first thing I did was paint very lightly around the outside of the book. This is a completely new process so that you can work on chunks of pages together. I did it this time with rubber cement. And it's, I think it's going to work a little better. I want to be able to peel off chunks of pages, but to have them kind of stay together. The main difference about this process, besides securing the outside of the, of the pages first, is that um, we're going to be using these heavy duty scissors on the corners, which everybody knows are the hardest part. Also, you don't need a template because I'm going to crack the bilk at the center. If you reinforce the outside and the inside, I'm going to cut basically all of the writing out. We're going to start at the top and press down and there will be no ghost cuts because we will continue to cut along the same cut. Now you're going to watch me uh, work on it. Here you can see I'm working on the corners. Notice I'm digging down into the corners. Even so, I ended up uh, having to cut out the corners, but that's what the scissors are for. You can see me, I'm, I'm trying to cut along the, the whole outline of the text, and then I use the corners to clean it up. Rubber cement does seem to be holding the pages together, so I'm not dealing with loose pages. Not quite as good as the Mod Podge was, but I'm gonna stick with it um, because I might be able to press them together and have them you know stick together so you, you want to dig down deep in the in the corners and still it's going to be problems in the corners but watch this these scissors are the greatest uh part innovation <clears throat> look at that look at that boom There's only one angle at which you can approach the corners. So you have to keep turning the book. So I just did, it looks like 60 pages, 60 pages for my first cut. And I'm going to just double down and dig right down there and continue working. I am going to use a, a marker just to show where I, where the hole wants to be. Um, because it, I might not be able to stick with Let's see how close I can. Yeah, see, it's already a little bit smaller. I'm going to do my best to follow that. I've got my cuts here um, and that marker. Between the cuts and the marker, I should be able to continue to dig down uh, in the same direction. This is very typical. I've done my cuts. It was successful and the corners got stuck. So I cut out using the scissors. I mean, I cut out everything but the corners. And now I've got the freedom to go in and take out huge chunks of corner. These are all everything that would have gotten stuck in the corner. And this to me is better. All 
All right, I'm three cuts in and I'm already at page 245 and it's looking really good. And these pieces are not all loose and that's because of the rubber cement on the outside. I'm gonna do actually another coat of rubber cement here so that it's, it, it peels. You see, that's, that's too much to do, but that's about perfect. And you wanna be able to peel off chunks to work on. And these corners look amazing. As you can see, I've got the book clamped down. That keeps those pages together better than the rubber cement. I've got some ghost cuts and I'm gonna follow along with that. However, the sharpest point of this is the absolute point. So you can never go wrong. You can never deep sink it deeper than you can in the point. Now I couldn't, I couldn't pull and, and create this cut with it this deeply, but that's okay. Cause it's still helping me. It's st helping me just to create super deep corners. The corners are always going to be the trickiest part. Look at how deep that goes in. One side. I, this is not where I start my cut. Sorry, it's so wobbly. And then I'm just connecting those two. This, the corners are still going to be the problem areas, but less of a problem area if you sink the blade down deep in the corners before you even start making any cuts. Ghost cuts are what I call the cuts left over from previous sections. And there's something incredibly satisfying in this process about just cutting a little bit deeper in one of the ghost cuts. So it's not going to cause a problem. In fact, you're going to, you're going to just deepen where, where it is, where it wants to go. Even the sound is amazing. This too deep enough. This is just a little metal plate that uh, works with magnet uh, holders for your phone. And I'm going to use this at the bottom. Um, so I'll have a magnet and it'll help hold the money in place. But for the moment, I just stuck it to the bottom and it's going to help keep the case, the, the cover in place as I Mod Podge the rest. All right, I'm going to time lapse the Mod Podge. It's important to put Mod Podge on the inside as well as the outside, but it's easy to overdo it on the inside because it makes it harder to open. You might want to clamp it a little bit before you do anything else. I used glitter Mod Podge on both the inside and the outside. You know what? It's not going to give it away too much, but look at how straight and beautiful these corners are. Obviously, I got a little bit off center there. Um, you don't need a template, like I said before, to create something this nice.